I've been through a lot in the past two years. It's still a tough ride right now and it may be one of the toughest times in my life and any senior's life. Applying to colleges, ACT and SAT preparations, athletics, schoolwork, social life, and holding a job are really stressful things for me during this time. But none of my, the opportunities and responsibilities I have will be present if it weren't for my parents. I have them to thank for pushing me to make my own, my own choices and take risks in life. As most or some of you know, I lived in a wilderness program for three months, then a boarding school for 13 months. Before I was sent away, I was dealing with a lot of mental issues. Since I was little, I've always been that awkward kid who never talks. Or at least I felt that way. Um, I guess I've always let that dwell on me. During the first half of my sophomore year, I gave less effort into school and I didn't have any motivation to change my attitude. I, couldn't find, I didn't find any fun in any of the things I did anymore. My anxiety kept me from changing my actions to try and better myself. It eventually led me to start skipping school. I just sat around at home, and to me it was better than facing my anxiety to go to school. Skipping school eventually became daily for me, and my parents couldn't just watch me throw my life away. I did not open up to them about what was, what was wrong, so they decided me, to send me away to a wilderness therapy program. I wasn't aware of where I was going at the time. My dad wanted to take me to Las Vegas one weekend in January. He eventually brought me to a car where I would be transported to the program. He told me that he loved me and that he was sending me to a place that would get me some help. I didn't know anything about what was going on. I knew it had something to do with outdoors. I just thought that it was just going to be for like a weekend. And I was completely wrong. I arrived at a building in a town in southern Utah. The staff there took all my clothes and gave me lots of winter clothing and bags of different foods. And it wasn't good food. It was just like the plainest stuff, like oats, rice, wheat, farina, dried beans, and dried veggies. After that, they gave me a small tarp and a sleeping bag. The food and shelter I was given would be the only thing that they gave me to survive with. Everything else I would have to figure out on my own. After the intake building, I was taken on an hour drive into the middle of nowhere. I met six other kids who came from different parts of the country and two staff who would be in my group. I still didn't have an idea of what an, an intense place I was in. One of the popular jokes that kids tell new kids when a plane goes by is, hey, you see that plane up there? And How far away do you think it would be? And they'd say, 60 to 90 days. And meaning that's how long it takes to complete the program at least. And uh, so I didn't like hearing that. <laughs> Uh, at that moment, I was hit with a shock and a feeling of like, wait a minute, what's going on? And I needed to think about, like, right at that moment why I'd been sent there. It didn't seem real at first. That I could just go away, go from a very sheltered home with freedom to myself to the middle of nowhere with extremely limited freedom and a lack of basic necessities to survive. That my life just turned from progressively getting worse to rock bottom without any warning. My entire life seemed like it went through an instant, from preschool to middle school, it's where I was then. The memories in my head dwelled on me because I wanted to be at anywhere else in that time but where I was. I thought about my life as a whole and then to where I was without a clue of what my instant future entails. To leave, kids need to complete work that takes several weeks. I got, I got off to a really slow start with my phase work, mainly because I wrote my parents a pull me letter, a letter begging parents to take me back home. After my parents wrote me back saying they wanted me to complete the program, I experienced like one of the worst feelings I've ever had. I realized there was no getting out of where I was. It was either I toughened up through constant hiking and eating little food, learning how to properly cook food, getting started on phase work, creating a fire set and making fires, talking to people about my issues, writing personal essays, opening up to my therapist, and learning all the necessary skills for survival or stay out there for whoever knows long and possibly die. <laughs> I doubt there was any risk of death for kids, but I didn't know that. I didn't know anything. No one tells you anything except to focus on the present. I didn't know when we were hiking, where we were hiking, how the weather would be, how far, how far we would hike, or when we could take a break. All I knew was that I was living in the middle of nowhere with crazy unpredictable and uncomfortable things happening, and to leave I had to complete the program. That's all I knew and nothing else. The sphere of the unknown pushed me to start working so I could get better at hiking, more prepared for bad weather, make my own fire, fires for food and warmth and open up to people. One of the hardest things I've ever done in my life was opening up to people while struggling to survive. I couldn't hide myself from other people or the elements, yet it was the best thing that pushed me to change myself. My initial impression of other kids were that they had issues, whether it came from family matters or drug abuse, and that they were just as pissed off as me about being there. 
I figure that since everyone's main focus is to leave, then why would anyone care about anyone else, right? Well, that was my way of thinking of it at first. In reality, what happens is that everyone naturally gets a feel of where everyone else comes from, no matter what situation it is. We had lots of group sessions where we would talk about certain things. It was mostly things that are difficult to talk about. I heard some stuff that made, made kids cry and others shared stuff that was traumatizing to them that they had never shared to anyone before. I didn't judge anyone. Everyone's background is, is their own and I respect that. From how others were able to share was what brought me to take a big step and open up. After I felt more and more comfortable talking to others, I really bonded with other kids who came from different backgrounds. It seemed at first that I was different from everyone else, but once I got to know people more, I realized how alike we are. I finished the program in 94 days. I know the exact day because we write it in our journal every night about our day and keep track of what day we were on. I got to see my parents for the first time in three months, and I was really happy. I got to reconnect with them and tell them about my experience. I was so glad that they sent me away because of how it helped me. Before wilderness, I could never talk to them. Now I feel like we are much closer. I've always known that the best things I can do, or I've always known that the best things I can do to be successful in life is to take risks. Before my wilderness and boarding school experience, I didn't take risks at all. Now taking risks would, has become much easier for me. It's still hard for me to do something because of my anxiety, but I will do it more often than not because I know fighting my anxiety will usually do me good in the end, no matter how hard it is. Whenever there are times that I feel like struggling, I can remember my experience from wilderness and know nothing could ever be more difficult. I can remember that time when I had an entire week of constant frigid nights and on one of them, I thought my feet would get frostbite. I can remember that time when I had stomach cramps during an entire day of peaking a mountain and then getting back to camp late. I can remember that other time I peaked a mountain when my group got lost in the worst part of the field and then getting back late completely exhausted to the point where I couldn't feel part of my face. I can remember the time when I had a bad stomach ache and I had to hold in a number two for the entire night because I couldn't move. <laughs> There's so many things that I can remember which are so difficult that anything else must be cake. <laughs> Yet, sometimes I wish I could be back in the wilderness. I love camping and I know everything I need to know to survive. There was also no stress about school or college applications. The only thing I had to worry about was surviving and being comfortable. I, did, I didn't have to stress about anything in the future and only to be on the present. Focusing on the present and things we can do in that moment to be productive or have fun is what I've learned to be very important in life, especially when there are a lot of stressful things happening. My wilderness and boarding school experience has changed my life forever, and I'm happy to be back on a successful path. Shoutouts, uh, Miss Hagee. You're like the funniest teacher ever. <laughs> Honestly, I'm, I'm glad I took the summer class. It's pretty interesting. Uh, Caleb, uh, you wanted a shout out, so here it is. Um, forgot what you you wanted me to apologize about something, but I, I forgot. It's probably not important, anyways. Um, LDS minus Richard plus Brevin. Shout out to the squad. Uh, football team. It's been a fun year so far. I'm gonna miss playing with you guys when it's over. Uh, class of 2017, you guys are all right. Um, some of you guys are new to me, and some I've known since sixth grade, but we're all graduating together. And, um, you know, good luck to wherever you guys go. Uh, Trey, I'm so happy to have you as my little brother. We may not get along sometimes, but we know how to crack each other up and get under each other's skin. And even though you won't admit it, I know you missed me when I was away. And I know that when you found out I was gonna be away for a lot longer after wilderness, you cried. <laughs> uh, Mom and Dad, thank you so much for what you guys have done for me. I wouldn't be where I am today without you guys. I learned from you that things, don't, that things in life don't come easy and making mistakes is part of life. I'm sorry that I sometimes don't talk to either of you guys about what's going on, and I'm glad that you're so forgiving because you know it's hard for me to do so. I'm so thankful for you. I'm so thankful that you guys have pushed me to do things on my own so that I can be successful in my life. I love you guys so much.